All right, retail investors drove up shares in President Trump's social media company nearly 800 percent under a week. But critics argue that the business is likely to fail. Joining us now is David Bonson, the Bonson Group managing editor and partner. Uh, David, thank you for joining me. Um, so what's your take? Is, is this SPAC uh, that involves Donald Trump's social media platform going up 800 percent in one week? Is this uh, is this too good to be true? Well, look, it's up 800 percent in a week. It's down 50 percent in a few minutes. Right. I mean, it got there were some people who paid 175 and now it's at 87. And so it's one of these very volatile speculative things that this is a completely non-political assessment. This has nothing to do with Donald Trump for me. It has to do with analyzing it like you would and should any investment. We don't know management. We, they don't have a CEO. They don't have a CFO. We don't know any employees. We don't know any financials. So it's just highly speculative. It could work out really well and it could not. I personally would never invest in something like this for clients without more information. Right now, people are buying it on hope. So on hope, though, I think it's interesting because, you know, I think a lot of Americans have been waiting to see what platform does Donald Trump get on. And if he uh, goes with his own platform like he is, uh, he could have 50, 70 million users of that platform in a matter of a month. If that happens, is this thing going to skyrocket? Yeah, I don't think you can see that because I don't believe that the uh, most kind of MAGA enthusiastic people represent that 70 million voters. I think we know this, Sean, that all people who receive votes have their most loyal diehards, and he has plenty of those. They're very loyal and they're very diehard, but they also have to be social media users, and there's far less than 70 million. And then now the problem from a business model standpoint is there's other competitors fighting for the space of kind of anti-Twitter, the sort of right-wing um, space in social media. And so there's not only a smaller market than that, but it's competitive. I, again, who knows? There's plenty of possibility here, but scaling up a big technology platform, I mean, Twitter is not exactly a very profitable company. Their stock has been all over the place since they went public. So I think that, you know, there is that possibility, but to me, it's not investable at this time. Well, I, think you, I think you bring up a good point. Um, you have a lot of Americans out there who are sick of the censorship on, on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter yeah. and, and very well may look for a new platform. Uh, but I'm with you, man. I'm not, I wish I would have put my money in two weeks ago. I did not, so I'm not getting in right now, David. Listen, uh, thank you for joining me and giving, your, uh, giving me your insights on this Trump SPAC. Uh, uh, coming up next, we are going to talk about a book uh, that I have coming out, which is very special.